Hey guys, well it is May 1st, day two of cleaning dad's garage. Uh, it's been busy, very busy. We've gotten a lot done though. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show all of that because I ran out of video space on the car yesterday. But it is really uh, getting clean really fast, really nicely. We're going to tear down a wall today, uh, maybe move out the, uh, this, he's got this green workbench, maybe move that out. Um, just a lot, still a lot of stuff to go yet, a lot of stuff. But at least it's, we're getting organized. As for organized, we're burning a lot of shit too. We got that whole trailer right there and then there's a whole bunch of stuff on the other side of this lean-to. And we got the um, uh, kids playground thing there that we tore down and all the lumber with that that we got to burn. Obviously we don't have to do it today, but you know, get a majority of it done I think would be a good idea. checking out the food plot and since I planted which was uh, I want to say April 26th and now it's May 1st so it's five days I guess uh, there's nothing happening yet but it's been really cold and wet I just hope they sprout right there and right there oh no there's a whole bunch stay here probably sink up to my knees in mud here got a lot of deer tracks Oh, these fucking gnats. No, I think those were just weeds. And I don't see much happening here. Get out of here. I don't want to step on any seeds. Hey guys, well, it is the 2nd of May today. Can you say hi? Jack? I'm at the slide and it's about noon and we're just out enjoying the weather it's about 70 degrees out today and soaking in the sun because we've been without it for so long now where are you going hey oh okay and uh I decided you know before his nap I'd take him down and let him play in the park for a while and enjoy the you know nice warm sun and everything but um, yeah, it's 
It's a, uh, it's a wonderful day. I will say that it is really nice. And somebody left. What the hell? A little crochet hat. Okay. Where'd you go? There he is. Say hi, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take some pictures of him today. After I get some video, where are you going? Gonna go down. Oh, <laughs> I got sand in my shoe already. God damn. Hi. What are you doing? Where is Jack? Where is Jack? Where are you? Where are you? Go down the slide. Which one? Wanna go down this one? This one? Come on. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, going down the... Okay. You know, I'll get at the end. He crawls backwards into them. All right, let's go. Or not. How are you going to get down? How are you going to get down? Come on. What are you doing? I see you. I see you. <laughs> I see you. Ah! <laughs> Come on, buddy. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! There he is. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, he was having a blast. Then he started walking to the truck, and he's like, "Bye bye." I'm like, "Oh, okay." So, should we go bye bye? Go home? Nap time? Jack, you want to go night night? I don't know what he wants. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah, you can't move that, no. I have to have him sit on his blanket because there's no liner and the seat was hot. But I was playing around with Jack and I just pulled myself off the damn. One of the platforms there onto a monkey bar. I didn't even put a lot of weight and I felt something, I don't know, in my left arm. And holy shit, does it hurt. It's throbbing all the way down my arm right now. I hope I didn't hurt. Well, whatever. The shoulder shot anyway. Let's go home and take a nap. How about that? Yeah? You say bye bye, guys. Check. Bye bye. No? All right, we'll be back. Well, I finally am able to get out of the house on my own. It's been a long time, a couple of days at least, since I was able to get out and do something. Not to worry about kids or the wife or anybody. Uh, Amanda's at home right now. She's cooking dinner. I'm going to go and visit John. I'm going to shoot the gun. I might go and take some pictures. I don't know yet. I've got hours before I need to be back, and so I'm going to try and enjoy myself a little bit here. Tomorrow is the day I have the MRI with contrast, so that's going to, I don't know, that's going to put the nail in my coffin or what, but today I freaking played around on the goddamn monkey bars, and I'm regretting it. I didn't, like, play, I just pulled myself off the platform and went down too fast, and had, uh, went to physical therapy and they couldn't even do nothing because the pain was so bad so they sent me home like 20 minutes after I got there which normally is an hour but just sitting here and using moving my arm is hurting I don't know what the hell's wrong with that I really I don't know I know with the MRI in contrast it's gonna they told me that the reason the other doctors didn't want to do it it's because of all the work I've had and like I said, said before um, the problem with that is it might produce some misinformation well I am just praying that it is if there is anything wrong with my arm that it is obvious and it is blatant and it's a tear that you cannot miss because it is ridiculous 
it hurts so much that I wake up sometimes at night screaming and that is no bullshit I mean I will be sitting in my chair and all of a sudden I'll be cringing and like you know I mean we just had our um, Jack's uh, in a ther- she was in a, ther- well, a speech therapist essentially um, trying to help him learn to develop his words which he's doing really well by the way guys uh, but she was there with you know helping out and I'm sitting in the on the couch I'm just talking to her and all of a sudden I'm cringing and Amanda's like oh yeah that's, that's his arm we had to explain to her what was going on because she thought maybe I was having a seizure you know <laughs> She says, yeah, she's like, my husband had uh, something similar. She said it was his rotator cuff, and it was just constant pain. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I really wouldn't. Because I've had everything else go wrong with it. Why not the rotator cuff, you know? But anyway, don't mean to bore you guys with all that crap. Um, Yeah, tomorrow we're getting the dumpster out of my mom's, and we're going to start throwing shit in there. And, uh, unfortunately we can't throw the tires in there. It's five bucks a tire. Oh, that would be like... $105 or something like that for the amount of tires that we have. So, I'm probably taking the tire recycling center. Providing I can make it there with a truck. Because I ain't going to fit all the tires in here. I don't even want to put the tires in here. And both vans are um, out of commission. So I could use the trailer, I guess. I never thought about that. I can, could probably even borrow John's trailer because it's got a side. It's got sides on it, which is something I want to build online because it would make the trailer much more useful instead of just a flatbed. So, yeah, yeah. This guy is just freaking cruising. Jeez. Coming around that corner at 100 miles an hour. Alright. I'm going to go visit John, guys. I will catch up with you in a little bit. Hey, guys. Well, excuse you. It's May 5th, and the garage shows are starting. So, we're going to go check them out, right, buddy? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> little squeak. Oh my god, what a morning, guys. I woke up to little man with his diaper off and poop all over his bed. <sighs> that is the last thing in the world I want to wake up to. It was so bad, and it was just like, you can't punish him. I mean, he didn't know any better. He just didn't want a poopy diaper on anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. And then today, or, you know, I was just, the squirrels now have babies in the house. So, that's a problem. Um, I'm trying to, I'm going to try and resolve that after I get home. I just don't want to deal with it anymore right now. I've been outside probably for the last hour and a half trying to shoot them, but my sight is just, it's too magnified in such a uh -oh. short range. You can't, I can't get any focus on it, so... So I'm going to have to figure out a new way. I'm thinking about cutting a hole right in a hole in the eave or whatever that is. And just flushing them out. Maybe even use the, um, uh, what do you call that? What do you call that? The, um, leaf blower. I don't know. It might work. It might not. I guess we'll find out. So. Anyway, let's do a garage sale. Alright guys, so I'm like on my 10th garage sale now. And, uh. So far, I've gotten some cool things. Well, not really. We got one cool thing. Jack stole that. And we got a nice little watch. I'm supposedly allergic to metal. But they say if you're allergic to metal, you can still wear stainless steel. Well, it said stainless steel, so screw it. I'm going to take the risk. But um, I did find something pretty cool that I want to buy. 150 bucks. It's a Rupp mini bike. And I'm gonna have to wait until the wife gets home, but I'm I'm gonna definitely try and buy it because I I grew up on a rough mini bike, and I think if we're gonna live on a mom's, 
why not have it, you know? As he needs to learn how to ride a dirt bike, so that's the best way to teach her. Well, the old ball and chain put the kibosh on getting a dirt bike, so that ain't gonna happen. Oh shit! I was looking forward to getting one for Ezzy. I was real, you know, because we our money is together, and she kind of manages the finances and made me realize that we couldn't afford it right now. And I don't know, maybe in the future we can, but still, I mean, overall it was it was an okay day. Found a lot of cool stuff, but really didn't buy too much today. I don't think. Maybe tomorrow will be different. We'll see. But, yeah, guys. So, uh, I am going to end this vlog here. And I will catch up with you on the next one.